Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel The Code Studio. Well, in this video we'll see the installation of PostgreSQL for Windows. So, now to run our SQL queries, we would need an SQL engine and a graphical interface to connect to a database and write SQL queries. So, our SQL engine is going to be PostgreSQL and PG admin will be our interface. Both of this will be downloaded in a single package from the PostgreSQL website. So let us go to the website www.postgresql.org. Here you will find a download button. Click on the download button. Now you can see there are several packages for different operating systems. I will be selecting the windows option here. Other operating system people should download their respective setups. After clicking the windows installer, I have reached to this page. I will click on the download the installer link here. You can see that we have reached a different website. This website is enterprisedb.com which is giving us the whole package. Here I will be selecting the 10.13th version, 11.8 and 12.3 it is the latest version and it is still under development. So we will be downloading the 10.13 version for now. And I will skip the video to the end of this download. So now our installer has been downloaded and now we can start the installation process. So we'll double click on the downloaded file. This will open up installer and we will have to give the rights to the app. If you would have noticed the installer first check if the Visual Studio C++ was installed in the system or not. If it was installed it would have checked and installed the Visual C++ in your system. Now we have the setup of PostgreSQL. Click on the next. This is the installation directory. If you want to change where you installed files, will go. You can change it from here, otherwise click on the next. These are the four parts coming in this package. We will be keeping all the four parts, so click on the next. So now this directory is the place where your data will be stored by PostgreSQL. I will keep the default directory and move on next. Now you have to select the password for accessing your database. Set up password and remember this password. So that while login in you are able to use this password and login. Now click on the next. 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 And next. Now I'll skip this installation part. So the installation is finished and I do not want to launch the stack builder so I'll uncheck it and then I'll click on the finish. Now, now, now if I want to look at the graphical interface which is the PG admin, I'll have to go to the start and search for the PostgreSQL 10.13 which I just installed. So here you can see pgadmin4. Now click on it. You can see that the pgadmin4 starts in the default web browser that you have. It is running on your local server which is your own system. On the left of the screen you can see the option of the servers. As you can see we are having a prompt to enter the password. So this is the password that we entered while installing PostgreSQL. Okay. So this is the performance of your server. We need not discuss it right now. Now we'll go to the database options on the left. This is the default Postgre database that you have right now. We will be creating new database for our own functioning. So you can see within database if you open there, there are several options. So there is a schema which contains several tables. We will be creating those tables also. So what we will have is a database. Within that database, we will create tables for customer products, transaction that we will be doing. And 
within each table we will add and delete several records all that we will do using sql and if you're wondering where to write that sql part you can just right click on the postgres database and there you will be having the option of query tool click on it and and on the right there is where you will write the sql queries and below this in this window you will be having your particular sql query output that you have run so we'll start doing that in the next video